Philip Holloway back with us. Let's, okay, so that's the theory going on, right? right? Yeah. Let's look at those two arcs. If, if, if the plane goes to the northern arc, you, you're, and, and the theory is, and I want to get your take on it, flying below 5,000 feet. Is that an anomaly? Can it be done? I mean, tell us about that plane going that low, potentially. Well, it can be done. Um, the thing about jet engines, though, is they are much less efficient at lower altitude than they are at higher altitudes. Jets want to fly high. When they fly low, they burn a lot more fuel, so they can't go as far uh, on what fuel they have. Now, if your objective is to only fly a short distance, perhaps to an island in the Indian Ocean somewhere, yeah, go down to 5,000 feet, avoid radar. If you don't need the fuel, go ahead and burn it. But if you go down that low, you're going to uh, decrease the, the range of that aircraft based on the fuel that we know was loaded in it. Okay. Are you any less likely to be picked up on radar if you're flying that low? Uh, absolutely. Radar, absolutely. GPS, you're, you're more likely to be confused with a, a flock of birds or even a boat, uh, you know, because without a transponder signal, all they have is what we call skin-to-skin -skin contact. The radar signal uh, actually bounces off the aircraft, but it, and then it returns to the, the radar station, and someone may see it on a radar scope, but they have no idea what it is. Got it. Okay, more with Philip coming up here as we continue to, and we'll take your calls, by the way, one eight seven seven tell hln